So we all probably know Google's Nano Banana image model. It's the best image model for image generation and image editing. And there are rumors that Nano Banana 2 is coming extremely soon, as well as real leaked results from this new model. If you know anything about Google's model, you know this is a game changer. If you're new to AI tools or you haven't watched my other videos, Nano Banana is a model in which you can give it a picture of a product and create amazing user-generated content like this of a one-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 30-year-old, and an 80-year-old holding your product and everything looks like it was taken on an actual camera. I mean, this model is so good. Everyone in my school community unanimously agrees that it's pretty much the best and most people are already using it for clients' work. Here's another fun little example. I gave it a picture of my girlfriend and my puppy as well as a picture from Appa from Avatar and boom, it made this Halloween costume that doesn't even exist and it looks so realistic and cute. But today I want to cover Nano Banana 2 or whatever they call the new model. Now with a lot of peer pressure, I think we we're able to convince Google to keep the name Nano Banana instead of Gemini 2.5 Flash. Over here you can see rumors that this new model might be called Ketchup, Nano Tomato, whatever it is. We'll be adjusting for that in the future, but I'm going to be referring to it as Nano Banana because it's been one of my favorite names. So RPN made this post a couple days ago showing that an uncensored version of this model was leaked and here are the results. When the model does come out, there probably will be guardrails to prevent using popular figures and stuff like that. But here you can see what looks like to be a somewhat vintage photo. So what's really cool and potentially scary about this photo is that it's made to look like a semi vintage camera from 98 and it looks extremely realistic and and I can't see any visual tells that this is AI, meaning photo evidence is going to get a lot more tricky in the future. Moving to the second photo, you see Diddy and Elon, the same thing. It's supposed to be a live stream and both people look extremely realistic. Moving to this third one, here we have Trump. It's supposed to be just a basic selfie. And then probably the most important of this set is this one right here. Now ignore the political rage bait. This obviously was some sort of prompt talking about Trump winning the third term election, which in the United States shouldn't be possible. But as you can see here, you have a really good image of Trump. You have the text, which oftentimes these models have done very poorly with text. It looks perfect right here. The CNN projection, it clearly knows exactly how this setup is and it did it to a T. You see you have this little presidential seal right here. You have the actor who looks exactly like a CNN anchor. You have the date right here that corresponds to the correct date. You have breaking news. It's spelled correctly. You don't have like double G's or anything like that. And then this right here, it's like all the text is made exactly how it would look in this hypothetical, even the reflection over here. Now, Nano Banana 1 was good at these things, but I don't think there's any chance that it would have been able to get all these details accurate in just one try. Moving on to the next example, you can see there's a screenshot from Crash Bandicoot, obviously a game that was developed quite a while ago, and you can see the polygons on this are relatively low. It was then told to enhance this for a new version, and boom, here you can see this graphics honestly looks like something you'd see in a modern day video game. Here is another leaked image that's been floating around Twitter and you can see the Nano Banana versus the Nano Banana 2 comparisons. And this one is very interesting because it's not super visual. It literally gives this equation right here. And while I did take quite a bit of math in college, I'm definitely not up to date and haven't done it in a while. But the person that posted this really showed how Nano Banana just basically made up a bunch of stuff versus the Nano Banana 2 is actually <clears throat> is actually considering a lot more logic when it comes to this. So let's just look at the first step right here. It says standard form divide by x cubed and you can see it actually does divide these things. You can see the one over x here like this. Like I have no idea if this is the right step to solve this equation, but it does look like it correctly did this first step of dividing by x cubed versus here you can see norm Liz dad is like something it says there. It's probably trying to say normalized, 
but it's, you know, completely, it's completely made up thing. So I have no idea. Someone will definitely have to fact check if this is the right answer, but it looks a lot more realistic, both on the logical perspective. And also if you just look at this visually, like it looks like someone drew this out, like maybe not perfect marker, but clearly on a whiteboard, someone is not going to have like text that comes from a computer document, which it looks like on this side. Here's another example, and the theme you could see is it's able to apply a lot more logic to your request. So someone wrote a sentence right here on paper, ripped it up, you can see the one side is here, and then these all are misplaced. And then it says to assemble the original message, and boom, it literally like forensically puts it back. It would probably take a human, you know, at least a minute or two to understand where each piece went. But like this model apparently can do crazy stuff like this. And then here we have a few more examples that make this image into a faithful masterpiece. Just seems to be something that people are doing. But you can see you have this GTA image that looks extremely rudimentary. And then this one here that looks a fair amount more realistic. Then we have draw a line for the ball's path. Now this is more of like a physics question and a physics understanding of where the ball would go. So not only can it draw stuff, but it will draw the motion of where the ball's going and where it's gonna fall. So this shows that both it can draw and obviously it has a way better understanding of physics and logic. And then over here we have an image right here with a red box saying the building from a top view and then boom. You can see this right here corresponds to this right here it looks like it's a very similar building, if not the same building, but from a different angle. So that's something that most image models would probably trip up on a little bit. And just like before with VO 3.1, as well as Nano Banana, you can give it visual annotations. So in this example, someone said a plant here, guitar here, eyes looking down, and then the end result is just what the person wanted. And then we have this example right here where an original image was given and it was basically to change it to a snow covered environment. You can see here, it does a pretty good job. It looks somewhat realistic, but when you look at this one over here with Nano Banana 2, the tree line in the background looks a lot more like the tree line in the original versus Nano Banana 1. So that's a relatively minor detail. Now, lastly, we have this one where it's asked to make the words above, where it's asked to make the words on the envelope break away from the paper and float above. This is the input and this is the output. And the most important part when it comes to this is image models in general have struggled with text. Try giving OpenAI's image generation model some text and like 80% of the time, the words will be very different when you get an output. Anyways, all these leaks came directly from Twitter. You can follow my Twitter and support on x.com slash mentor. And just a little bit of an update. I've been out for the last three weeks on a personal vacation, which was a cruise in Australia with my family. I'm finally back and I am not going to be going on another vacation that long in a long time. There's so much I missed. And in terms of my school community, there's so much we have planned. I have a new full-time member joining soon. We're going to have a, have a live stream on Thursday going over that. And if you're interested in my school community, like always, it's 1.5 thousand members. The current price is at $25 a month and you can lock that in for a lifetime. <clears throat> Everyone in this community is absolutely obsessed with AI content, AI video, and using it to create AI creatives for business, whether you're an entrepreneur, a marketer, or a creator, there's so much value here. And I'll watch for watching more videos coming soon, and I'll see you guys later.